Healing Humanity has evolved immensely over the years as an outlet for my solo work. When I first began writing original music back in high school, I had a very lofty vision for what I wanted to create. I was very inspired then by bands such as Dream Theater, Symphony X, and Periphery, who were all known for very complex music, both lyrically and instrumentally. I really wanted to follow in their footsteps and create these massive, progressive tracks, and even spend a few years trying to work out a concept album. Uh, however, because of these aspirations, I was held back for a pretty long time because I didn't think a lot of the stuff I was writing at the time conformed to this idea I had for what I wanted to write. There is a lot of decent material that came out of this time, but unfortunately much of it was never finished for one reason or another. It came to the point where I was only writing one or two songs a year because I had such high expectations for myself. But the turning point came this past spring when I took a songwriting class at my college. Uh, the first day I walked into that class, the professor outlined his expectations for all of us, which included writing one song every single week during that semester. At the time, this thought was absolutely mortifying to me since I had always taken so long to write whole songs up until that point and would have to create a decent demo to accurately represent each week's song every single week. Um, and I tried my best regardless, and even though the first few weeks I had to use some old material to buy myself some more time to finish new songs, I did gradually become better at creating finished products within those time constraints. Um, and by the time March came around, I was cranking out one or two songs a week, which was a huge turnaround from one or two songs a year. Um, that was ultimately when I realized that releasing an album by the end of this year would actually be feasible. I ended up writing 9 out of 10 songs on the Roddy Garden just since then. Uh, the other thing that changed was by being forced to write under such significant time constraints, I realized that my true sound is not what I thought it was for so many years. My sound is much more straightforward than the intricate, progressive pieces I always aspired to write. It's more just about writing good songs with killer riffs that wouldn't be so overwhelming to anyone without a trained ear, and relatable, personal messages in the lyrics instead of these big sci-fi operas that aren't necessarily meaningful on a personal or emotional level. Um, I also realized that fewer notes could actually be more, and while I've grown as a solo writer, now being able to finish songs with much more ease on my own, I've also found that collaborating with others can lead to some very unique ideas that I would never be able to come up with or execute on my own. It was really great to have a second perspective on many of the songs on this album. Overall, I'm incredibly pleased with how I've been able to grow as a musician and as a songwriter in the past few months, and I can't wait to share everything I've learned with all of you in a few weeks. The Rotting Garden is out August 21st on all streaming platforms and is available for pre-order now with the first single, Eagle Eye, out right now. Check it out and stay tuned for more content leading up to the big release. I'll talk to you all soon. Stay safe.